As the day goes by, the quest to slow and ultimately stop aging is as old as humans' culture. All around the world, scientists are trying to beat the most debilitating condition known to humans, aging. But as we get older, our risk of dying soars. At age 50, for example, your risk of kicking the bucket within the next year is more than three times higher than when you're 30. As we head into our 60s and 70s, our chances of dying double about every eight years. And if you're lucky enough to hit 100 years, your odds of making it to your next birthday are only about 60%. But what if science was right? What if we can stop aging? Maybe not anytime soon, but chances are it could be possible someday. So make sure you watch this video to the end to discover how you could contribute to making the anti-aging a reality. And just before we begin, hit the red button below this video to subscribe to the Crunch family and the bell button to get notified of our new videos. Want to remain ever young? Let's see how it works. Aging is natural. It happens to every human and animals alike, but that doesn't mean that we have to like it. Aging is roundly considered undesirable, but why do we age? No one likes the thought of growing old. Despite our many human endeavors to escape or delay the process of aging, it seems to be an inevitable part of life. But why do living things gradually fall apart when they grow older? Senescence. Of course, I'm not talking about the old rock band who sang Bring Me to Life. Senescence is the state of gradual deterioration of normal functioning. At the cellular level, it means cells stop dividing and they eventually die. It can also apply to an entire organism, where a living thing can no longer respond adequately to outside stressors, or to specific organs or tissues, like leaves dying and falling from trees in autumn. While there are ways we can slow down or speed up the rate at which senescence occurs, it is still going to happen one way or another. However, a few species can escape the aging process completely. And the good news is that you can be immortal, but the bad news is that you have to become a floating blob of jelly to do so. Scientists have discovered a jellyfish that can live forever. How is that possible? Here it is. How jellyfishes live forever. At the top of the immortal animals list is a tiny variety of jellyfish known as Toratopsis dorni, or more commonly, the biological immortal jellyfish. It is found a way to cheat death by actually reversing its aging process, according to National Geographic. If the jellyfish is injured or sick, it returns to its polyp stage over three days, transforming its cells into a younger state that will eventually grow into adulthood all over again. These small, transparent animals hang out in oceans around the world and can turn back the hands of time by reverting to an earlier stage of their life cycle. However, that may not be possible if they get hit by big fish or get stuck in the sea. Can humans replicate the jellyfish system? Since their discovery, Tortopsis dorni is now officially known as the only immortal creature. But do they hold the key to eternal youthfulness for humans too? We know that aging in humans is thanks to a multitude of factors, but many of which we still don't entirely understand. Perhaps these examples from other species can shed some more light on those processes. In one of his laboratory discoveries, Professor Shin Kubata of Kyoto University in Japan discovered that the jellyfish is capable of recycling itself, switching back from Medusa to polyp when injured. In the lab, Kubata has witnessed this switch occur an incredible 12 times for one animal. Kubata believes that somewhere within the jellyfish, there is a genetic key to regeneration which could potentially apply to humans through the help of scientific research as time goes by. So if scientists can make that happen and humans become eternal beings like the immortal jellyfish, will there be an impact on life? Ending aging entails multiple social, cultural, and economic consequences. If we were to develop a cure for aging tomorrow, the impact on humankind would be unprecedented with an increased population that exceeds the Earth's resources. So, can science stop the natural aging process? As far as our current understanding of the aging process goes, there is hope that we can, one day, slow the negative cellular effects of time. One theoretical method would be to somehow eliminate sluggish cells that are linked with aging while keeping normal cells ticking along. In theory, this sounds good, but it's not as simple as that. Because as we age, some cells give up the ghost and stop working. 
Hair cells stop making pigment, for example. But at the other end of the activity scale, some cells start to work over time. These unnecessarily busy cells can go on to develop into cancer. So you're stuck between allowing these sluggish cells to accumulate or allowing cancer cells to proliferate. And if you do one, you can't do the other. You can't do them both at the same time. So the upshot is that science may be able to slow aging, but it cannot be stopped. It's just something you have to deal with if you don't want to be a unicellular organism. And I, for one, certainly do want to continue to be multicellular. What about you? I hope you learned something new today. If you still have some questions left, let us know in the comments section below. If you want to know what happened to Mike the Headless Chicken, click on the video given on your screen. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.